Hey guys, Brett from Star Wars Gaming here, back with more Warhammer 40k Death Watch. So we are in part 3 of Act 4, which is Catacombs. And let's see what we have to do this time around. So the kill team are entering the Catacombs under the City of Dusk. They split into two forces, or sorry, they split their forces in two. Have to defend the entrance to the Catacombs, have to search the tunnels for the Servo Skulls containing the formula. Formulae. Alright, so this sounds like we're definitely going to need our Devastator, so we will most certainly bring him. Um, and then otherwise, I think we'll stick to the same team. We'll have a team of probably three running through the tunnels. Well, let's go into the... So let's take a look at this. Um, I think we'll probably keep maybe Incarnus and either Elijah or Dagmar back to defend the entrance and then we'll send whichever one of these two doesn't go along with Ventress and Syndril to go find it. I think that'll be probably the best course of action. Um, I think we'll send a we'll leave Elijah on defense probably just because um, he could use the XP Plus, his plasma gun can't overheat now, I believe. I think we took that last time. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I'd rather give the XP to him. Dagmar has pretty much reached max level. We just have to keep, well, not max level, but we've got all the abilities worth getting for him. So we just keep throwing all of his XP into accuracy, which is nice, but I feel like he could use the growth a little bit more. So yeah, that is going to be our strategy. We'll just keep the same team as last time, and let's go ahead and dive in. We have a trace on the servo skull. However, the Tyranids have caught your scent. Oh, great. The team must split in two. Some to secure the objective, and others to guard our exit. Okay. So, guarding this, I assume? Yeah. There's nothing else to really guard. So how do I want to do this? I think we'll put Elijah like here and Incarnus right here. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the best course of action. So let's get you up here. Love you guys kind of scope things out up ahead looks clear for the most part so why don't we get you guys into these corners here and then you are gonna just make a run for it and now over here we'll do one two one two and he's gonna overwatch down this way and you can't overwatch but you'll be overwatching this way next turn so we're just going to try to funnel them through these choke points right here um, I guess the other thing I could have done is put them both right here and have them both overwatch this whole thing which may have been a better plan shoot I kinda like that better all right, we're gonna change this because that way they, if there's bigger targets in here, they'll have trouble dealing with them separately, but together they shouldn't have a problem. So we wasted a bunch of XP there, but I'm gonna put them right here so that they can overwatch this center thing together. And I think that'll do it for this turn. Let's see, I don't think they'll be doing much, yeah. They usually give you one turn to kind of figure out what you're doing, and then they start throwing stuff at you. But this also prevents the uh, big guys from taking cover behind this. Yeah, that's a lot better. There we go. So that's the only spot we can't hit. Alright. I probably should have sent Dagmar this way, but I just went that way because that's the way he, or that's the side he spawned on. He would fare better in this more open area, though. 
let's do one step just to be safe looks clear we'll take another still clear step Dagmar in this way and I don't know if there's Tyranids in here or not so I think I'm gonna play a little bit aggressively here still clear there Oh, there's a Tyranid. Okay, well, we'll get hit a couple times, but no big deal. Just a little guy. And you two are all set there, so let's go ahead and end our turn. Oh boy, we got Gene Stealers pouring in. This will be fun. So we're going to have to start overwatching over here now. I assume he's going to come this way. Two, three, four. If he does go the other way, he won't be able to attack. Um, we need to put this Gene Stealer down. And if he fires... You know what, let's try to do it with you. Because if you shoot twice, you can still overwatch. If he shoots once, he can't. There we go. So that worked out about as well as it could have. We can still overwatch here. Oh, he's actually got that. Oh, never mind. I thought he got that middle spot. Never mind. Um, okay, so we got one guy here. One, two. Uh, he should be able to kill him unless he misses. If not, we'll get attacked twice. Not a big deal. It's only one hit there. Um, why don't you finish him off? There we go. Okay, so how do we want to go about this? I feel like they're going to continue to spawn over here. Actually, I don't know if they're spawning in here. They may just already be here. So I don't know if I need to bother overwatching it. I feel like it's probably a good idea that I do. So I might leave Dagmar back like right here to just kind of overwatch the rear while the other two head in. But I feel like that really severely limits our range. So maybe I'll leave Sindril behind. Okay, there's a big guy right there. So you are going to overwatch that. And I guess Dagmar is going to start heading out this way. He should be able to handle this. If not, we can turn around with him next turn. But he's got a couple shots with that melted gun at fairly close range. So I think we'll be all right. Down here, nothing going on. We'll put these guys back on Overwatch just in case. And let's see what happens. Gonna get a big guy dropped right there. Two little guys will spawn. No movement over here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I need to kill him. I need to kill him, too. So he's down. We'll take another step. 
you're gonna move here and shoot the pyro guy before he spits fire at us. We've got the gene stealer here who's gonna be able to close the melee range, but he won't be able to attack. And then you are gonna hang out right there and just keep this locked down. And let's hope you can finish these guys off again. Cool. Gotta love that plasma gun that doesn't overheat. Now, I think that's it. So let's advance. Yeah, he's gonna close the melee range, but he can't do anything. Hmm. That l yeah, that put him down. So we'll step forward and overwatch. And you're gonna step here and overwatch. Oh, no you're not, you're gonna shoot him in the face. Or you're gonna miss at point blank range. There we go, at least we got the kill. Right, so you need to stay here. We've got that big guy pretty much pinned down. He doesn't seem willing to step out, which is fine. If he wants to sit right there, we'll go grab the servo skull and head back this way. Um, nothing doing down here, so we'll just put these guys back on overwatch. And that looks to be it. Okay. So I'm going to step you up one just so you can clear these corners. Corners are clear. Dagmar, you're going to need to deal with that guy because he is out of Ventress's range. Okay. Wow, that was not very good. Throw a grenade at him. It's a hell of a throw. Oh, one shot at him. Awesome. Um, that puts him out of AP, though. So, I guess we will s sit right there. And then I'll have you turn the corner. We got a gene stealer down there. So, you're going to overwatch like so. And if the gene stealer wants to run into that melted gun, he's welcome to. You're just going to hang out right there. You continue to keep that. Uh, no, don't do that. Go straight ahead. There we go. Keep that Tyranid Warrior stuck right there. Either way, he's got to go through my line of fire. Um, and you guys, you just overwatch. You kill him and then overwatch. Oh man, come on Elijah. You're better than that. At least he's getting plenty of XP. Uh, it wasn't enough. Alright, so I don't want to melee him because that could go very, very poorly if Space Hulk is any indication. So let's shoot him in the back. There we go. And then I could just kind of run for it. But it might be smarter to do this a little bit more cautiously. There doesn't seem to be anything in this room, so I'll move him forward. You are going to overwatch this way, just in case they decide they want to spawn back here. Actually, can you turn further to the left and still see that? Yeah, that's a lot better. Watch his back. He's going to go grab it. You continue to keep Mr. Warrior pinned down. And you guys just keep holding the entrance. Yikes, that didn't do as much as I'd hoped. 
Okay. So, we're gonna have Incarnus put the big guy down. Or at least try to. Jeez, okay. That didn't work out. So we're not gonna get an Overwatch this turn. But that's fine. Um, you just keep on holding the line there. We're gonna go grab that. And then we need to apparently get back to here. Okay. So you've got one point. Go ahead and start heading back. I'm going to have you step up there. And hopefully you can watch both of these. I don't think he'll be able to, but we'll try. No. Huh. Well, that's fine, I guess. You're overwatching there. You guys are out of AP. Looks like we're going to get a free turn here, which is great. Because I didn't have any overwatches down there. Um, let's just run for it. I mean, they've got enough health where if we get caught off guard for one turn, we'll be fine. But, yeah. I mean, nobody was spawning in there, so there shouldn't have been any surprises. We'll just duck right behind him. Syndril will, you know, watch our backs on the way out. We'll probably extract through here. I will need to have somebody cover this, because when he moves, the guy that's over here is going to have, you know, free movement and he can run up right behind us and you two will just keep holding this down he's not using all of his AP I don't know why he's doing that or not doing that he's supposed to get two more overwatch shots but he's not taking them Let's see. I'm going to move him here. Because I want to get him down and through there. So that he can cover while these guys start to, you know, flow through there. He's just going to run straight for it. You're going to keep your overwatch. Whoa. Don't know what happened there. And then you guys have some work to do. Hmm, can you put these guys down? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so they're all dead. Try to finish him if you can. No. Okay, so again, we don't get the benefit of an overwatch down here. But everything up here is taken care of at least. No movement there. So again, we'll have Dagmar pop through here. And he's going to step. Oh, he's got one more. Oh, right, because of his ability. So he's going to step here. And then next turn, oh wow, he's getting a bunch of freebies. Hmm. I guess we'll put him here then. He just keeps getting more and more free ones, okay. There we go. That'll allow you guys to move through here. Let's see, one, two... you're gonna overwatch this way and that'll do it oh wait 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 no it will not there we go that will do it ok 
Okay, that dealt with him. Let's see. One, two. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of milk this because we are getting free, free XP for everybody that we kill. So I'm basically just going to sort of tactically extract rather than run for it. That way we get as many kills as we can, play it as safe as possible, and get the benefit of the extra XP. I really thought that Tyranid Warrior would come after us. He doesn't seem to be interested in doing so. So we'll just, we'll just end it. All right. How much XP did we get there? Uh, let's see. He got 2,000, so as I hoped, he got the most. Not as much as I had thought, though. I, I figured we'd get about 2,000 across the board this time, and it wasn't quite that good. Actually, Ventress and Syndrome didn't do very well at all. But yeah, so let's see what we got, and then we'll head back and take care of some level ups. A missile launcher, that's cool. Um, our Devastator has a missile launcher specialty that we haven't taken yet. But this is just a regular one, and I feel like the... I don't know, we'll have to look at it, but I feel like the heavy bolter is probably better for overwatching and stuff. This is going to be more of like an assault Devastator weapon, I believe. So it'll probably cost... I don't know, I honestly don't know, I've never used one, so... I won't speculate, we'll just take a look at it. I will see you guys on the character editing menu. Okay, so we've got a couple level ups. Let's see what they've got available for us to take. We'll start with Incarnus. So, he's only got 2000 XP because we did spend quite a bit of it last time on, I think, standard level ups. So, I don't think we'll be able to afford any of these for a while. That's pretty good. Uh, regenerative implants. That's really good. That would be good if we had a decent missile launcher. Let's look at the one we got. Oh, we have a LAS cannon. I forgot about that. AP cost 3. Accuracy 70%, range 10. So it does AO some slight AoE damage, but it, you only get one shot per turn at the absolute most. And the damage is actually lower than the base damage of our Heavy Bolter, where we get two shots per turn. So, our our damage per turn or DPT, I guess, because DPS only works in real time, um, is going to be a lot better with the heavy bolter. That's also three, so we'll stick with that. Um, how's his accuracy? His accuracy could be better, so I think we'll continue to level up accuracy, and then we'll start worrying about some of these later. 62, okay. We want him somewhere in the 70s, probably. Ventress, what do you have? We just got this ability, so he's a little bit low on XP. Um, his accuracy could also improve a bit. He misses with that pistol pretty often. Um, the Melta pistol did do better than the uh, Hand Flamer. But he did miss a lot with it, so I think we'll take some more accuracy. And no, I don't have enough for another. We'll try to get that to maybe 80%. Or we might do like one more, so it'll be 80 here, 75 here. And then I'll start to go after some more abilities. But now that he can heal, at least he's a little bit more versatile. Dagmar, we've been saving up for a while with him. He didn't quite 
make it to 8,000. But I don't think we needed it. Let's see, 50% damage when target is below 50% health. Meh. And then Reckless, I don't like Reckless. Flamer Specialization. Hmm, yeah, probably not. So this is the only one I'd even consider taking, and I don't know that it's worth it. How much for another level up? 3,000, jeez. We could go more accuracy. He definitely needs it, but... We only get like two more level ups with him, and then it's just going to be way too expensive. Let's go ahead and do it, though. Because none of these are all that useful. So we'll get him to 64%. And then that leaves Elijah, who I'd like to get, was it this one? Yeah, this is really good. This one isn't bad, but again, very situational, and it's, it's a situation where I've only been in once. We've only had one guy drop below 25% health, not in not counting the one time where I one-shotted Elijah and killed him on accident. Um, what do we got here? Caliban's memory. Uh, so he just does more damage, but he's less accurate. I guess that would work at like point-blank range, but... Free fire. Fires all enemies in range. That's a little bit better than the uh, Blood Angels alternative where they fire at everything in range. But I think we'll save up and go for this one, because plus 30 damage mitigation is always going to be useful. So yeah, we'll save his points up. And that'll do it for today, I think. Yeah, nobody else has got any level up. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please feel free to share my videos however you guys see fit. And I will see you guys back here for the next part of our Warhammer 40k Death Watch Let's Play.